Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now. Before I begin, it's important for you guys to watch your moon rising and your Venus, okay? If you are looking for personal tarot card reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. If you haven't already subscribed, you can consider subscribing and hitting the notifications bell. So let's begin your reading, okay? The first card that I'm looking at is giving me the impression that in the situation, it's important for you to slow down. Okay, I feel like the energy is talking about allowing things to unfold. And I am reading, you know, from this particular card, which is an oracle card, okay? And it's reflecting your energy and the necessity for you to take some time off. It could have been something that was stressing you out or making you feel overwhelmed. It could have been something that was exhausting your resources. So I feel like, you know, this is a good time to give yourself, you know, that moment to catch your breath and to, you know, plan ahead for the future when it comes to your love life. Now, this is an interesting energy because it's talking about not rushing into things, not, you know, jumping at opportunities when they're presented. It's talking about finding a quiet place to collect your thoughts and to, you know, recognize what you need to know during this period of time in respect of your love life. Now, the next energy I'm looking at is reflecting the energy of the individual you're dealing with. And, you know, if you're a cross watcher, it's important to have faith during this period of time, especially if you're going through a difficult period with your Virgo individual. The last energy is the most beautiful energy from these three cards. There is an indication here that you share a connection with a person that might be your true love, okay? So this is a very powerful, potent, you know, energy that is talking about, you know, the fact that you can't avoid this, you can't run from it. This is a very powerful sort of connection. So let's get into your tarot card readings. I've already shuffled the cards. Let's begin. Okay, so I see here from the energies that there is this element of frustration coming out from the cards, okay? There's definitely an indication that you put in a lot of time, you put in a lot of effort, you know, you've been wondering where is this relationship going in and you've been feeling a little bit flustered, you've been feeling a little bit, you know, taken aback by the energies. And I feel like this other energy is talking about your desire to give in to your emotions, your desire to give in to this connection and to not hold back. I feel like in the past there was a lot of planning done, a lot of consideration went into the situation, a lot of things that have been on your mind, okay? And I feel like you were surveying the horizon, trying to figure out a way going forward. There might have been someone that you really want to be with, and uh, I'm picking up the energies that things are going to be changing. And I feel like these changes are going to be exciting, okay? There's some very exciting changes coming in terms of your love life. But I'm also seeing that your situation now is being compounded by the combined energies of feeling a sense of regret, sadness, and uh, loss, as well as frustration, okay? I feel like you're trying to reclaim your power, your strength, your energy in this situation. You know that with the person you're dealing with, you can have a very successful relationship. And I also see from the cards that... Um, There's this energy of a message that you're hoping to receive or to send out as well. This card is talking about, uh, you know, either dealing with someone that um, is either not in the same city or country as you or some sort of energy that is indicating that there's some sort of distance between you and the individual you want to, you, you know, want to be in a relationship with. It could be physical, it could be emotional as well. So let's clarify these energies. All 
Oh, of course, there is this tarot card that is in the challenges position. And I feel like you feel like you're being blocked from, you know, this relationship where, you know, you want to be with this individual. It feels like a divine sort of union situation. And, uh, you know, the two of you have this very strong bond and love. But I feel like it's being denied or ignored. to turn things around I feel like you're waiting for communication or you could be reaching out to somebody with the hope that it can lead you towards you know happiness and I feel like you're refusing to accept something that happened between you and this individual it almost feels as if you want to you know turn the tide on the situation and uh, reverse what has happened so far I am picking up a very strong competitive energy wanting to fight not wanting to let go and this is you know purely going on your energy alone okay so i'm sensing here that even though there's been so much heartbreak and sadness and uh, difficulties that you've dealt with you haven't lost sight of what you want in this relationship you haven't given up you're still you know moving forward in a very strong and strategic manner and i feel like you know for a lot of you you are still wanting to be with this individual, irrespective of, uh, you know, the difficulties or the challenges, etc. So there is that energy very pronounced, very strong. Let's find out about the individual that you are dealing with. Okay, so the first card is showing to me that this person is having a little bit of a tough time in the situation. I feel like, you know, they're keeping a lot of secrets. They're hiding a lot of things inside of their heart. Things that they don't want to face right now. And uh, this could be a very emotional period for this individual. There are certain things that they haven't been able to deal with. And I'm picking up here from the cards that this individual has been, you know, trying to either hide these emotions or trying not to deal with it. It's, um, you know, something that they're keeping on the inside of them, trying not to acknowledge it as well. So the next card is talking about potentially their ego or pride or the fact that they are unable to take the, you know, steps they need to change the situation around. So I feel like they are holding themselves back, almost like suppressing their instinct and not wanting to follow it. I feel like this individual, you know, something may have caused them to act or behave in this manner. I'm definitely picking up from the cards that there are some external factors here that are having an effect upon their energy where they don't want to face what is going on inside of them. Yeah. Okay, so one of the possibilities is that this individual could be feeling highly, highly confused about what to do and which path to follow and what's the right steps going forward. I feel like uh, something is making them feel a little bit claustrophobic, a little bit, um, you know, uncertain in the situation. It's like they don't want to face it, they don't want to deal with it, it's difficult to handle, you know, it's emotionally draining for them and... Um, I do pick up from their energy that this hasn't been, you know, the best situation given what has been going on. And now this individual, I feel like there's a difference between your energy and their energy because you're feeling frustrated that things aren't moving forward. This individual is feeling like nothing is changing and they're also having a frustration, but they're blaming other elements for this. They're not blaming you, which is a good thing. And I feel like, you know, the two of you are unable to 
see the bigger picture in the situation. This card here is particularly telling me that they've been thinking about you a lot. And um, I see that, you know, there is a potential that the two of you, you know, can come together if some of these difficulties and obstacles are dealt with. So in the extended, what I'm going to be looking at is why this individual is holding back, okay? What is really causing the situation? I'm going to be looking at what you can do to get this person to act on their instinct and to actually make a move. The other energies I'm going to be looking at is the obstacle solutions, but more, you know, we're going to focus on, uh, you know, the actionable steps that you can take in this particular situation versus you know what is being done in this current moment you can find the link for the extended in the description box below if you want a personal reading you can get it at the tarotempress.com have a wonderful day and take care